The fourth episode of The Boys Season 4 delves into Homelander's traumatic past at the Vought Lab, where he was subjected to experiments as a child. Huey desperately seeks Compound V to save his dying father, leading him to make a risky deal with a train. Annie, determined to take down Vought, faces challenges as Firecracker exposes her past abortion, causing outrage among her conservative supporters. Meanwhile, Frenchie discovers a shocking secret about Firecracker's medical condition. The Homelander confronts his past and exacts revenge on the scientists who tormented him, showcasing his ruthless nature. Butcher and M.M. attempt to gather information from Firecracker, but end up in a violent confrontation with Ezekiel, resulting in a bloody aftermath. The episode reveals that Vought employed psychological manipulation to shape Homelander's desires, leaving him with an insatiable need for appreciation and love. Homelander's twisted upbringing and his plans for raising his son, Ryan, raise concerns about the future. Sage, struggling with her inability to enjoy simple pleasures due to her intelligence, undergoes a self-lobotomy to temporarily alter her brain function. The fourth season of The Boys may be described as a combination of both positive and negative elements. However, episode four stands out as the most powerful and promising installment thus far. I anticipate that the second half will sustain the current level of enthusiasm. What is the definition of Project Odessa? At the beginning of the episode, we are shown a view of the lab office. A letter from Barbara is pinned up, reminding the staff to refrain from disclosing any information about it, no matter what. A train and Ashley establish a partnership when she catches him pilfering compound V, and he becomes aware that she is provoking Homelander by defecating in his restroom. I am fond of this combination. I hope they mutually assist one another in extricating themselves from this unpleasant Vought enterprise. John Vort is described as one of the celebs attending Firecracker's extravagant rally. The boys unequivocally criticize the CSI franchise by referring to its viewers as individuals who have passed away and left their televisions on. The most memorable part of episode four is the depth of her psychosexual connection with the deep. The combination of Susan Haywood's terrifying acting, the repulsive sexual chemistry between Sage and the deep, and the act of the lobotomy is delightfully repulsive. Watching him execute the procedure on Sister Sage was the most uncomfortable thing that has happened to me while watching the boys recently. Although Sister Sage's scheme for world dominance does not advance much, the framework is set up, and we gain some familiarity with her. Sage informs the deep of the rationale behind the lobotomy. Her mind is perpetually on high alert, and the only way for her to feel normal is to have a lobotomy since her brain can regenerate, but her rest of her body cannot. It is too soon to know if Sage's dissatisfaction with her abilities will play a role later in the season, but this is the first time we've heard about it. 